Here we're going to find the Maclaurin series for the function f of x equals e to the x. Notice that I'm calling it the Maclaurin series. You could also call it a Taylor series centered at zero, which means we take the formula for the Taylor series and we just let a equal zero. So it simplifies slightly to this here. And remember, the entire problem is really just finding a pattern for these derivatives at zero or in general at a. Everything else is set in the formula, so all we need to do is find that pattern. So all we do is we take the function we have, f of x equals e to the x, and we're going to take derivatives. Now with e to the x, the nice thing is that the derivative is always the same. So that makes finding patterns pretty easy to work with. But each time we take the derivative, we're going to plug in zero. So we're going to plug in zero to the original function, to the first derivative, to the second derivative, and we would keep going as long as it takes for the pattern to become obvious. This one, the pattern is almost trivial because every time we get one, and this will continue on, so we're gonna say in general, no matter what derivative you're looking at, for this function, when you plug in zero, you get one. So it's really just that simple. That e to the x, when we write it as a Taylor series, equals the series of 1 over k factorial times x to the k. And we can write that, if we write out the first few terms, as 1 plus x plus 1 half x squared plus 1 sixth x cubed plus 1 over 24 x to the fourth and so on. And you can actually use this for a variety of applications. You could, for instance, approximate the value of an exponential by taking the first few terms of this series. Notice that the coefficients get really small really quickly. So if you just took the first, say, four terms of this series and stopped at that point and plugged in x equals 2, for instance, you would get a decent approximation for e to the power of 2. If you used a few more terms, your approximation would get better but you can get a pretty decent approximation pretty easily. You can also, for instance, show how the derivative of e to the x is itself. If you take the derivative of this polynomial, you'll notice that that same polynomial emerges as your answer. So there's sort of interesting applications you can do, but this is a really trivial example of finding Maclaurin series because the pattern for the derivatives is so simple.